Hey, what's up everybody? Dowson Ness here from The Mimic Method and in this video, we're gonna talk about the ultimate workflow to learn grammar the intuitive way so it flows out of you automatically in a live conversation. So before we jump into it, let's first talk about how people normally learn grammar in a conventional language learning, language instruction program and why that doesn't work. In fact, why that produces one of the number one causes for flow blockage in conversation, which is overthinking. So if you get stuck in your head, if you ever find yourself looking up in the sky and trying to analyze grammar patterns while you're speaking to someone, and as a result, speaking slower, stuttering, getting choppy, feeling awkward, anxious, all of these problems are avoidable and the conventional approaches to teaching grammar are actually contributing to this. So it's doing more harm than good. And here's what's happening. When you go to a traditional grammar instruction, what they do is they explicitly explain all of the theory and structure behind grammar. So for example, in Spanish, they might say, okay, Spanish has AR verbs and ER verbs and IR verbs. And when you do simple, they have different tenses, present tense, past tense, so, you know, different moods, subjunctive, indicative. And then you take the stem of the infinitive form, you drop the AR, and then if it's in the second person informal, right? So all this type of thinking is completely unnecessary. It's completely unnecessary for you as a learner. And you know that because you didn't need to know that to speak your first language. Children don't need to know that. So when you learn your, learn your second language, you also don't need to know that. That is explicit knowledge, you know, kind of nerdy, intellectual, splitting it all off. That's a separate cognitive structure and function than the one where it's just flowing out of you. When you hear someone speak in English and they say, I has a cheeseburger, you just intuitively feel that that's incorrect grammar. Why? Because of the sound, because of the implicit learning you did as a kid. So how can we then learn grammar implicitly so that it's in our, not intellect, but our intuition so that it flows out of us automatically? That is what we wanna do. And in essence, the way you learn how to speak intuitively, have the grammar flow out of you, is you need to just train it within a live interaction context. So what do I mean by that? Well, a live interaction is what conversation is, and interaction has actions and reactions. This person's talking to you and then you're responding and reacting in the moment. So really what you're trying to train, train is your reaction speed, your reaction automaticity. That's the key insight here. So I'm gonna demonstrate that in a bit, what it means and what it looks like to train reaction speed. And actually this is based off of my system I was developing this past winter, training my reaction speed for for kickboxing, right? Because you don't need to know the theory of getting punched in the face. You need to train yourself to intuitively recognize what's coming at you and then dodge or block and parry accordingly. So I, I came up with a method for training myself in that more rapidly. And then that helped me develop this grammar situation, which I'm about to show you right now. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, so just learning you know, how to speak about things in the present in Spanish. We, I've, break, I've broken everything down to little bite-sized pieces. This grammar pattern, um, I've gotten four verbs that represent that pattern. And I'm not gonna explain to you the theory of it all. You're just gonna go through. This is you learning how to just rep your, your jabs or your punches. And what you're gonna do is this one, you're just echoing. So it sounds like this. Yo hablo. 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 Yo grito. 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 Yo bailo. 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 So you see, we're rapping it a bunch of times. It's kind of rhythmic. You're echoing afterwards and you basically don't move on to the next thing until you're able to just do that smooth. And if it's a bit too fast for you, you can always come here and change the speed a little bit. 
Yo bailo. Yo bailo. Yo bailo. Yo bailo. Yo bailo. Yo bailo. Yo canto. Yo canto. Yo canto. Yo canto. All right, and then you do that here. So you get all your reps in. You don't proceed to the next section until those movements are in your muscle memory. They can flow out of you without you even thinking. Okay. Then now we need to put it in context so that it's a reaction. So we have this thing which I discussed in another video called the conversation game, where you're in a live interaction with someone and you say, uh, "Tú bailas, yo bailo, no, yo no bailo, él baila, él baila, no, él no baila, nosotros bailamos, ustedes bailan, right?" And what you're doing is two people are talking to each other and you're responding to what the other person is saying. So if you, for example, are working with our one of our coaches, we would play that game with you, and then the coach will be throwing you these random phrases and sentences and you need to respond to them at speed with smoothness and the right animation spirit. So we found that we want people to tra practice with live human beings, but you can get way more out of your live human being session if you do some solo practice with this robot here. So here's the reaction. Tú hablas. Yo hablo. No, yo, yo no hablo. hablo. Yo hablo. No, yo, yo no hablo. Yo hablo. No, yo, yo no hablo. Yo hablo. No, yo, yo no hablo. Tú gritas. Yo grito. No, yo, yo no grito. grito. Yo grito. No, yo, yo no grito. Yo, yo grito. No, yo, yo no grito. All right. Yo. So I'm practicing that movement in the context of someone give me the, the proper prompt that I'm responding to, right? So if someone's saying you, I respond me. If they respond me, I'm responding you. And if they respond her, I say her. And you notice here we do everything, um, just give it more bite size and bit by bit. We start you off with singular, then you do the same thing for the plural, so it's multiple people. And then we put it all together. So you're, we're, we're constantly flow channeling you one step at a way. So you're right at the edge of your ability. And then again, you don't move on until you feel comfortable. And this is easy for you. Then once this is easy, now you put yourself to the tests. And there's a gap in this audio so you can practice the response. It'll sound like this. Tú hablas. Yo hablo. No, yo no hablo. Yo hablo. No, now yo I'm no checking hablo. my answer. Tú hablas. Yo hablo. No, yo no hablo. Yo hablo. No, yo no hablo. Tú gritas. Yo grito. No, yo no grito. Yo grito. No, yo no grito. Tú gritas. Yo grito. No, yo no grito. Yo grito. No, yo no grito. All right, so you're testing it and time reaction speed is the key. Remember my analogy with boxing you it, it's not just doing you know the slip but doing it fast enough in response to what's coming at you so you, you don't people are trained from academic schooling that as long as you write down the answer and you know you take enough time to think when you're taking a test and you write down your correct conjugation you're fine but that's not going to work in real life, it, speed is what determines correctness. Speed and smoothness more than anything else. So you do not, you're not graduated to the next level until you can do this in speed. So that's why I set the time in between where if you're like this. Tú cantas. Uh, uh, yo, uh, yo canto. Yo canto. No, uh, no, yo no canto. So that means I didn't do it fast enough. So again, I can, I can adjust the speed here if I need to practice slower. And then that will allow me to get it. Once I get it at full speed for all of these, boom, now I'm ready for the next level. Now I'm just drilling it. All right, we got these doubles drilling. Tú hablas. Yo hablo, no, yo no hablo. Tú hablas. Yo hablo, no, yo no hablo. Tú gritas. Yo grito, no, yo no grito. Tú gritas. Yo grito, no, yo no grito. Tú cantas. Yo canto, no, yo no canto. Tú cantas. Yo canto. No, yo no canto. All right. And then now is a bit more alive. It's going to be giving you like a random order. Él grita. Él grita. No, él no grita. 
Ellas cantan. ¿Ellas cantan? No, ellas no cantan. Tú gritas. ¿Yo grito? No, yo no grito. Yo bailo. ¿Tú bailas? No, tú no bailas. Nosotros hablamos. ¿Ustedes hablan? No, ustedes no hablan. Right? And then, uh, finally, what you're building up to is the full interaction. And you don't really fully graduate until you're able to do this with another human being. So this is the final step to prepare you with a human being, is you just shadow an interaction between two people. And it sounds like this. Tú hablas. Tú hablas. Yo hablo. Yo hablo. No, no. yo no hablo. Yo no hablo. Él habla. Él habla. Él habla. Él habla. No, no. él no habla. Él no habla. Ella habla. Ella habla. Ella habla. Ella habla. No, no. Ella no habla. Ella no habla. Yo hablo. Yo hablo. Tú hablas. Tú hablas. No, no. Tú no hablas. Tú no hablas. Tú gritas. Tú gritas. Yo grito. Yo grito. No, no. Yo no grito. Yo no grito. Él grita. Él grita. Él grita. Él grita. No, no. Él no grita. Él no grita. Ella grita. Ella grita. Ella grita. Ella grita. No, no. Ella no grita. Yo grito. Yo grito. Tú gritas. Tú gritas. No, tú no gritas. Alright. And so now you're shadowing it. And notice how I do this thing. This is a super important part of the process. It's called perspective changing or role switching. And the, the idea here is that when you learn in the conventional way where you have like, you know, your grammar chart and conjugation chart and you're like, oh, this is this. You need to understand you're completely outside of the context of a live interaction. So what you're training is merely the capacity to write down answers to like a math problem, basically. Is it just a logical analysis problem? And logical analysis on paper is completely different from responding to a human being in a live social interaction. So what we're doing here with my solo practice is I'm really simulating being in the perspective of a tu gritas? No, tu no gritas. So I'm like, visualizing a person here who just said to me, I, I scream. And I'm like, you scream? No, you don't scream. We scream. And then I switch my perspective. So the physical moving. So I'm looking at that guy who was here before and I'm like, you guys scream? No, you guys don't scream. And then this is really what's going to train you up. Another thing that you can do is get like sock puppets and you'd be like, Tú gritas, yo grito, no, yo no grito, él grita, él grita, right? And, um, but the key thing here is that in your imagination, in your mental rehearsal space, you need to switch the perspective so that you're there, you're present, and you're training your embodied intuition rather than just what people are used to from the academic training of just answering questions on a, on a test. So, uh, okay, uh, yo grito. That means the response is uh, two grita, so uh, two, uh, two, de that, just always understand, the final point I'll make here is just, you, you, you know, it's practice doesn't make perfect, but uh, practice makes permanent or pra perfect practice makes perfect, like those kind of statements. And what they're really alluding to is that what you're training is what you're doing. So if what you're doing is writing a test or answering things on like Duolingo, you're just getting good at that skill. And it doesn't transfer to a completely different skill, even though it's the same language. That's what people really feel to appreciate in the language learning world, is that just because it's called Spanish on Duolingo and it's called Spanish on my textbook and it's called Spanish on pen and paper, that thing we're calling Spanish is a completely different phenomenon to what you're doing with someone in the street, you know, buying something at a grocery or getting in a fight with your girlfriend or, or hailing a taxi. That's a completely different phenomenon as it pertains to the cognitive level. So when you're doing any kind of training, you've got to ask yourself, what is this doing to my cognition? And does this actually translate to what I'm trying to accomplish, which for us ultimately is being able to flow in conversation. So to help you flow in conversation, we created this grammar flow protocol and we're going to have it for a bunch of different languages. And I also map out Um, I'm mapping out, I have it in a different document, but what the progression is for the different patterns of you know, verb conjugation, starting from the most relevant and the most common to the most obscure in an order. So basically, you just sit down here and just do the drills, have a call with a practice partner or one of our coaches, 
uh, do it, checkbox, move on to the next one. And it's the smoothest and fastest way that you can integrate the grammar patterns of your target language. So if you want to try this out, um, I'm launching a, a one-on-one -on -one coaching program for a select number of people in the next week. And you can sign up for that if you just kind of follow me on YouTube and follow us on my email list. Uh, and then later on in the summer, we'll be releasing this content to the, um, the wider audience for, for people just to buy and have on their own. So that is that for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, if you have any questions or thoughts, and subscribe. And then I will see you in the next video.